Well, it's winter time and I can't get any work done at the cottage. So I'm here in the shop and I'm taking care of some projects that uh, have been uh, hanging around for a while and need to get finished. One of them is actually for the cottage. I have a cabinet that I'm working on uh, for the cottage. But this one, this cabinet right here, is uh, this was a find from the side of the road. And there are two glass doors. Uh, I'm uh, in the process, as you can see, or maybe you can't see, uh, of stripping the paint uh, from this. This is going to go actually in our house, not at the cottage. But uh, it needs a little bit of work. It's a pretty nice constructed uh, piece. I'm not sure how old it is. Um, I can't see any of the usual telltale signs. Like I can't see what fasteners were used uh, or anything like that. It appears to be pine just based on the weight and the color of the wood uh, from what I've been able to see so far. So the carcass needs to be stripped at least. Uh, so there was, there was, um, I think it was latex paint on this. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It was, it was oil-based paint and, I, and it appears to be exterior house paint. It had all cracked off because obviously the surface underneath it uh, wasn't prepared right. So all of that, uh, I, I started chipping away at it and then realized I might as well just attempt to strip as much of it off as I can. So that's what we've done. Uh, and so now I'm at the point where this, the stripper has all been applied and removed. And um, I'm not going to strip the inside. I'll just give the inside a, uh, a, a good wipe out and, and, and a sand so the, the new paint will adhere to it. It's probably going to end up being the same, the same color anyway. Um, so the carcass is done. And... Um, there are two glass doors that go on here, and I filmed a segment earlier uh, of removing the hardware. Uh, this was a, an interesting, very interesting affair to try to get uh, the hardware off. There were uh, four hinges, two on each door, and there were three screws on each, or six screws on each hinge, three on each side. Uh, so you can do the math to see how many screws. They were small, and uh, I really didn't have a screwdriver with a thin enough tip on it to be able to get really in so I had to improvise but got all the hinges off I got the doors off and I got the uh, the door hardware off there was a latch uh, so I filmed a segment on how I did that at least how I got started so check it out the first step is to uh, remove all this paint that's gathered around this hinge uh, so I can expose the brass screws that are under here it's got a couple of layers of paint and I have this uh, dental tool. Where is it? There it is. Two-sided. Uh, it's got a good sharp point on it. And I'm able to kind of scrape the paint away, just being careful not to scratch the brass too much that's underneath it. It's tedious, but it's it's necessary really in order to get at the to get at the screws underneath. It it's I, I think the one of the lucky things is is it appears to have been painted over with latex paint, so it's coming off pretty easy and exposing these brass screws underneath. It's just like I said, it's just really tedious work. And luckily, it also appears there's only two layers of paint. So in one sense, I kind of lucked out. This is a great, I, bu I bought this set on uh, Amazon. It's a great, it's a great little set to have specifically for this. If you're doing any kind of um, restoration work or refinishing like this, this is, this is a fabulous tool to have because <laughs> there really is nothing else that I've found um, to be able to get into these little cracks and crevices and loosen the screw up. And the thing you don't want to do is strip out the screw head because brass is a very soft metal. And it actually doesn't take much to um, misform, deform, reform, whatever you want to say, <laughs> the screw heads. Um, so this taking this extra time really helps. Uh, I've, I've done one already, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, 
So, so that's the idea anyways. Um, you clean them all out nice so you can get a screwdriver in there. Um, now, the other thing I don't have is I don't have a screwdriver really that's thin enough to get into that uh, slot that's right there. I know it's kind of hard to see. I'll zoom in in a minute. Um, it's hard to see. So I have a whittling kit and this is going to take some repair afterwards, but I used a blade from uh, a whittling kit to get them started. And then uh, I was using a screwdriver and I had some luck, but so it worked with this one. All right, I'm going to keep going and then I'll come back and show you where we are. All right, so um, I, I actually was able to get all the hardware off and I was able to get the doors uh, scraped and sanded. I don't think I'm going to strip the doors only because there's not much there. Um, there. There's not much surface to strip. I think if I just sand it, smooth and paint it, uh, it should be fine. Everything's going to end up being the same color anyways. So um, I think it will end up being fine. So um, I'm going to take a, uh, we're going to take a look at the doors next. So hang on, we'll take a look at the doors. All right, so here's the two doors as they uh, appear laying on the bench. They're actually in the same orientation as they were on the cabinet. So you can see where the hinges were. Uh, there was a hinge here, uh, another one here. There's one there, and there's another one over there. And uh, there's a latch in the middle. I just want to, I just noticed this when I laid it down. The, the, the doors are, you know, exactly where they need to be. But look how off the hardware is. Uh, on the door right there. I just, I just thought that was interesting. So, um, it's hard to tell with the glass. I think there's a little waviness to it. It's really kind of hard to tell, especially at this time of the day, what kind of glass it is. And it has, it ha wasn't too long ago that it was reglazed. So I'm not going to mess with the glazing. Like I said, I'm just going to sand all these edges down and, uh, and, and then paint them. Now the hardware is a different story. So here is the bucket of hardware. You can see uh, everything uh, that's in there. This is one of the hinges that was on there. Uh, and this is the latch. And here's the other. So that's the, that's the two latch pieces right there. And then there was a another latch uh, on the inside. So this is all brass and it's all covered with a tremendous amount of paint. So this is going to need to soak. I learned a trick um, several years ago about using a crock pot. You put some crock, some water in the crock pot, put the the um, the brass hardware in, and just let it steep for an hour or so till it gets up some good temperature, and it will loosen the paint enough that you can. Uh, it usually just falls right off. It'll peel right off, and um, so that'll be next. All right, so I think that's it for now. I know this isn't exciting as ripping up kitchen floors and sort of all the other things that I'm usually involved in here, but it's been a while since I posted something and I want to get something out. So I'm going to work on this project. Like I said, I have another cabinet that was a record cabinet that we're turning into a linen cabinet. So that's in the works too. And uh, I do have the trim I have to make and the balusters for the porch. So we got a lot of work to do uh, this winter from the shop. So um, th there'll be other videos like this one. So um, happy new year. If I hadn't said that yet, happy 2023. And um, we'll see you the next time around.